Hello everyone, welcome to RTA. In this lesson with Class with Miss Tresvant, we will be discussing five must-have books written by the one and only Pantuita Tresvant herself. We hope you like it, so let's get into it. Okay, so it's true that you've written several books. Right. What genre would you consider them to fall under? Um, all of my books fall under the self-help category um, or self-help genre. They And the reason being is because I wanted to create some books that would um, basically raise the vibration of the planet and so and of the people. So I try to uh, make the books very broad um, in reaching a wide variety of people. And so I have a, a pretty much, um, my audience is pretty much everyone because I have a children's book um, to reach the children's audience. I have a, a book that would kind of fall under the teen category. Um, and then I have several books for um, adults as well as um, teachers. And the reason I, I was very specific with teachers is because with me being a veteran teacher of over 20 plus years, um, I wanted to put something out there for the novice um, beginning teachers, so. Okay, so without spoiling it, can you tell us a little bit about each book that you have written? Mm -hmm. So um, the first, two books actually came out um, at the same time. I was writing both of them right around the same time. And those first two books were Before the Bell Rings, which is a book for um, aspiring teachers as well as veteran teachers. And basically that book um, in a nutshell is um, giving my advice on how teachers can better prepare for a school year. Um, like I said, that one was dear to my heart because with me being a, a veteran teacher of over 20 plus years, I felt it was my duty to uh, put something out there, especially for the aspiring teachers out there. Um, the second book that came out the same time at the same time as Before the Bell Ring is When the Sky is Blue. And that book is basically for anyone in the workplace, and it's a guide on how to get along um, mm -hmm. in the workplace. And why I wanted to create that is because in my field, um, you know, there's always going to be some type of drama. Um, in fact, there's going to be drama in any mm -hmm. field. Um, that believe, is very true. Yes. In any career, any job. So. Um, if, if this is for the people that really want to uh, be the best versions of their self at work, on the job, and just giving it 100%, I um, gave some tips and tools on how to do that in When the Sky is Blue. Okay, so for um, the next book, um, and I have a, a total of five books so far. Um, the third book is entitled Smile. And um, that book was written specifically for um, teenage students who are going through those teenage years and trying to figure out, you know, who they are and what they want to do and become in life. Um, this book is set up so it gives different stories of real people that I personally know. My, it, it actually gives some of my personal experiences in, in life and um, you know I changed the names uh, to protect the innocent but um, it's just a, a series of stories that teenagers can definitely hopefully relate to be able to relate to and again um, it's all going to be um, aiding in their self-improvement. Um, the next book would be uh, I Love Me, and that book is a children's book. And again, it's just a book about teaching children how to love themselves. Um, because, you know, we can uh, teach and, and preach and, 
you know, talk until we're blue in the face to the adult, the teenager, the adult society, but it all starts with the children. Um, so I wanted to um, start teaching them at early ages how to love themselves. So that's what I Love Me is uh, all about. And then my last and final book that I've written thus far is entitled It's All About You. And that is a book that really allows a person to dive deep into getting a clear understanding of who they are um, as individuals, as human beings, and, you know, kind of uh, a purpose um, to life as to why uh, we are all here and, um, and what our purposes of being here are. And so that's what that book um, is all about. Um, in each book, ex with the exception of the children's book, I Love Me, in each book I leave um, a space, uh, a journaling space. So um, these books are not really meant to be read all at once. Um, it's more so to be read on a daily basis and then be able to ha you know, have your personal reflections and write down your personal reflections um, within each chapter. And so at the end of each chapter, there is space for you to actually write inside of the book and just reflect on everything that you read, meditate on everything that you read, um, and then be able to you know, reflect on that and hopefully um, it will aid in, in improving a person's life um, by doing that. Okay, my biggest question for you, I've always wanted to know this, is when did you decide or make the decision that you wanted to become a writer? Um, I feel like I was always a writer at heart. Um, growing up, uh, even as a young girl, um, I always knew several things. I knew that I wanted to become a teacher. I was the person that played school when I was a little girl <laughs> with my brother and my cousins. Um, and if when they didn't want to play, I would gather and collect my dolls and they would be my students and I'm the teacher. Uh, but in all of that play, uh, writing was a big part of it. And even growing up in elementary, junior high, high school, writing was one of my favorite subjects. Um, I joined creative writing groups um, and then eventually I became a writing teacher, an English teacher for many years. And so writing has always been dear to my heart. And, um, and so it was kind of when I you know, decided to go further and actually publish some of my writings, um, it was just something that just came second nature to me. So um, when did I want to become a writer? I don't really have a, a it was, specific date. It was just installed in you. <laughs> it, was just, it was just something that, um, I, that just came naturally to me and something that, that I've always enjoyed um, doing. Another question that I have for you is how long does it take you to write a book? Like what is the writing process like for you? Um, well, for the books that I have out, it really didn't take me that long. Um, like I said before, um, writing is something that just comes second nature to me. And so it's just a matter of me scheduling the time, you know, because I have a very hectic schedule and just being able to balance my schedule and, and s s map out a time in which I can spend focusing on writing. but. Uh, for the pieces that I wrote, uh, just it took maybe a, a few months um, to put those together. Um, not very long at all. However, um, I am currently working on a project that I know is going to take me a whole lot longer, um, maybe a year or two uh, to complete, um, just because of everything that it entails. But um, the pre all of my previous books, uh, my current work, it only took a couple months. Now I've heard you say you're working on a new project. I'm assuming we can expect new work from you or? Yes, absolutely. Um, my goal is to uh, write seven books. Seven is just my favorite number. I was born on the seventh um, and I, I, that's one of my favorite numbers. And mm -hmm. so my goal is to write seven books. Um, eventually I'll, uh, get hopefully an autobiography out um, 
in the near future, but right now I'm currently uh, finishing up my uh, doctorate degree and within that program we have to do what's called a dissertation which is a, a writing project within itself and that's the project that I was speaking of that's going to take me about a year year and a half maybe two years at the max to complete and um, the what I've chosen I'm not going to put it out there just yet but what I've chosen to was what I've selected for my thesis um, is going to be very, very helpful and useful to the rest of the world as it pertains to um, the, edu the field of education. So look forward to that um, great piece of information yes. coming out really <laughs> soon. We definitely, me for sure, will be staying tuned. Now, if you are interested in purchasing any of these books, go ahead and go to Barnes and Noble. That's where all of them are located. Mm -hmm. um, I believe you can also order them on Amazon as well. Everything will be linked down in the description box. So again, thank you so much for watching and thank you for answering those questions for us. Mm -hmm. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you next time.